another Danny Change Films that web com video tutorial. Okay, in this tutorial, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the um, external hard drive for getting this to work on Windows 7. Um, I guess this wasn't originally compatible for Windows 7 or something, but I got this maybe last year or something like that. And for some reason, it won't work on none of my Windows 7 PCs, but it will work on XP and Vista. With not a, it's not a problem with it. So I did a little research, I checked online, and I tried to figure out what's wrong. Well, it seems like nobody could have figured out what's wrong, okay? Because uh, Seagate didn't have a driver for it. You know, um, we well, didn't point you in directions for a driver for it. And apparently, a lot of people couldn't figure it out. But I figured it out. And I haven't seen anybody else suggest this. So anyhow, <clears throat> if you have this problem, here's how you fix it. First thing you want to go ahead and do is... Uh, you can open up your web browser, go to Google, and type in Seagate uh, Free Agent Go Software. And um, once you do that, you click on the uh, first link here. Okay, then it'll bring you to this page. And if you have the one like I got, um, you just click on the Go Software, which is like the second one, and it'll have Go in it. So you click on that. See what you're doing here, you're just downloading the software that goes to that. And once you download that software, it should automatically work on the Windows 7 PC. Um, but anyhow, you go down until you see Download Free Agent Zip. Okay, by the way, you would need Renoir for this as well. You can go to download.com and download uh, Renoir. But anyhow, you download it to wherever you want to, desktop or downloads or wherever. But once you do that, you should get this right here. All you have to do is right click on it and extract two, then the file name. Then you'll get this folder. Just open it up and install Seagate Manager. And basically that's what you're doing. You're installing the, uh, the manager for it. And uh, once you do that, it should work with no problem. Here, I'll prove it to you. Here, I got it right here and I'm gonna plug it up to the computer. It came on. As you can see, it's working. And I am going to go to computer. And right here it is. Of course, this is only a 250 gigabyte external drive. And I pretty much got most of it filled up there. But, uh, but anyhow, that, that's how you solve that problem. Uh, anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day. Oh, by the way, I got I have a call too. That's why my voice is sounding uh, even more funnier than normal. See you.